Hi YouTubers out there. It's Fortune Cookie 45 LC again and uh, we're talking revolvers again and this one is a single action. Ruger Single 6 is actually the Super Single 6 convertible. What is it about this pistol? As at the range today, shooting the Ruger 22 single action, the single six super single six convertible. And another shooter comes up to me and says, Oh, Ruger single six super convertible. And he said, He just bought one and he's going to give it to his son. Well, what is it about these pistols that makes them so popular? Well, Bill Ruger, back in 1950, he had already put on the market his Mark I semi-auto pistol modeled after the Japanese Nambu and looking like a Luger. So it was a, it was a hit, and that pistol made it possible for him to get his company going. So he was the firearms Facebook of that day, of that era, because the Western movies and the Western uh, action and, and the heroes was very popular, but Colt had stopped making their single action army revolver and people were clamoring. So he got into the single action market at the, at the perfect time. And if he were the Facebook of, of that day, uh, he, he didn't do as well as the, as the Facebook people today, but he was the Facebook pioneer in firearms in, uh, of that day. So around 1953, this hit the market and he had on the drawing boards from 1950 and what this is single action revolver when it first came out it was patterned after the Colt single action army so you couldn't load this with six rounds because the firing pin was resting on the, on the, the cartridge so you had to have an empty chamber under, underneath the, the hammer. So it was really a five-shooter. But in 1973, he went and created the transfer bar ignition system, which made it possible for, for a shooter to have six rounds loaded. The transfer bar made it possible for safety, because the primer no longer had a firing pin resting on it. So, in 1973, when he came out with a new model, instead of going to half cock, <coughs> all a shooter had to do was open the loading gate, and that caused the bolt to drop so that the cylinder could be rotated for loading. The ejector rod is still done. Now, the proper use of the ejector rod is to be very brisk with it. To eject the empty, like so. Then, the, the proper way to load the revolver will be to, to take two cartridges like this and load one and then load the other so that you save time instead of having to go one at a time. But this revolver could be loaded with six rounds safely. And it had the extra cylinder that could be just dropped right in like so to take the 22 magnum cartridge now care must be taken that that because a shooter could be carrying two different kinds of ammunition, the 22 long rifle and 22 rimfire magnum, 
or magnum rimfire cartridge like this and this the two different rounds it's possible to actually load 22 rimfire 22 uh, long rifles into a 22 magnum cylinder and when that's fired because there's a, a lot of play in the case with the 22 long rifle in the 22 magnum chamber the case could rupture and we could get a little gas flying around so it wouldn't be safe and accuracy would be out the window uh, the revolver is so strong it probably would not be damaged by firing the long rifle in the magnum cylinder but it's just definitely not recommended so a little bit of care one differentiation is that the magnum cylinder is marked magnum in writing here but also doesn't have the flutes so if you pick up a, a Ruger single six and there are no flutes that is a magnum cylinder you don't want to go putting long rifles in there so once again the long rifle cylinder has the flutes and also as we've noted before whenever you see the the locking notches and the little cutout offset that little cutout offset always points in the direction that the cylinder is going to rotate in so in this case it rotates this way which is the way that single action revolvers do rotate very fine pistol very nice sights and this is the five and a half inch barrel they also make it in six and a half and they also have a nine inch barrel or is it nine and a half or somewhere of, of that nature uh, the long barrel and then they have the four and five eighths so the four and five eighths the five and a half the six and a half and then the nine plus inch barrel uh, so there's a lot of variation that 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 can be uh, can be encountered in in, in the single six. The grip frame is the same size frame as the Ruger Blackhawk, and the the frame here, the receiver, is on a smaller scale than the Blackhawk. The Blackhawk is larger. This is about seven-eighths the size of the Blackhawk. Fine pistol. So let's go to the range with it. So here we are, YouTubers, at the range with our Ruger single six. The Ruger single six. We're shooting at 12 and a half yards using Winchester ammunition. And so here we go. 12 yards. Actually 12 and a half. We're shooting a left hand target. Well, we hit the card with a sixth shot. 
Don't know if we split that or not. There's one wild shot in there. Let's uh, reload. Okay, go in your gym with that left hand target. Try and shoot a little lower. Okay, going again with that left hand target. Try and hit the lower third. Target. We actually moved the camera on that last six, so let's let's go another six on that left hand turn. Peppering the area of the card, but not quite getting it. Let's keep going that left hand target, there's still a card in there. Well, there was a card in there. And that blew it out of there, so we're going to have to do a target change. But uh, gives you an idea of what to do. Yeah, Ruger single 622 can 12 and a half yards. This is all the shooting is offhand. Two hand holes offhand. So, YouTubers, you see that the Ruger Super Single 6 is a very fine pistol for recreational use, for taking out into the field, for hunting small game. In fact, it's probably the best single action available for hunting small game. You can get other brands of single action revolvers uh, that are less expensive. Some are domestically made, some are imports. But the reviews on them are that it's, a, it's kind of a gamble because some, some shooters love them and others hate them. But the, with the Ruger, we get a uniform satisfaction. So for an extra hundred dollars, you can purchase a, a, a very fine revolver made in the United States, and it will last you forever. And like the shooter that bought one for his son, his son will treasure that pistol forever. And there'll be a link between father and son, and that son will pass that revolver on to his son and the grandchildren. Uh, this is a pistol that will be in the family for generations. Ruger makes them so that they will last with any reasonable care. Uh, this particular revolver has had thousands of rounds put through it. Um, 22 is shot uh, a great deal. No one ever shoots 25 or 50 rounds of 22. You go out there and you're going to put uh, three, four, five boxes with each range session. So, YouTubers, take care and consider the Ruger Single Six, uh, Super Single Six, uh, for your uh, your uh, gun collection uh, for just having. Take care. Bye for now.